What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today something was released that was a surprise to me. Uh, the Rose released a new single called Beauty and the Beast. Uh, we've checked uh, at least one or two songs of theirs out. Uh, we have checked out Wusung, really enjoy uh, the work that we've heard so far. I just didn't know anything about this coming out, so I'm assuming this is all of them uh, together because I know they were split up for a while doing other things. So, all right, let's check this out. The Rose, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I had it muted from the previous reaction. All right, let's go. Okay. All four of them. Also, just a note to any new guitars out there, don't play your guitar like that or you will break a string on stage. I've done it many, t many times. That amazing voice. Nice. His voice, man. Yeah, I still got that rose mix, but still powerful. Finally a guitar underneath now in the verse. Very low. Something about their hooks, it just hits. And we're going to pause here before we get into the bridge. Okay, so what I said about this being a rose mix, uh... To me, when I look at them, right, they are a four-piece, single guitar, bass player, drummer, keys. It's not mixed like a rock mix, though, like a traditional rock mix. It's definitely not guitar-driven. There's a very uh, uh, powerful guitar top line uh, in those single-note uh, runs that he's doing, but once the vocals come in, once the, the, the verses come in, in the first verse, that guitar disappeared. There's no melody it's playing, but it is doing like a feedback thing. So you'll hear reflections of the guitar in there because they're just recording the feedback from it. Um, but in the second uh, verse, they did bring in a little uh, lightly uh, plucked, a little clean section, but it was very low in the mix. And then once they get to the chorus, the guitar again, gets pulled back because it's all about the, the vocals, right? Uh, so it doesn't, it, 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 and it, I'm trying to, when I'm, when I'm listening to this, I'm like, how does it keep that power? But it's because they bring all of the instruments up together, and then those vocals are always strong from them, it seems, uh, as far as the melodies and the choruses. So it just still carries that power. But when I'm looking at it just from a rock, uh, an old rock perspective, right, as a, as a rock musician, I'm expecting things to be a little bit different, but it's it's very um, 
surprising to me and and it's delightful honestly to see how it still carries that power even though it doesn't have that traditional rock mix so anyway just want to talk about that it's it's a great song um and yeah there's something about his voice like i've said before and when their hooks hit they just they just they're very very powerful so let's go back and let this vibe in see what this this bridge is gonna be Strings. Very beautiful. I wonder if it was those strings in the background. That was very, very nice. Very powerful. I wish I had all the words, but the words aren't on the video yet. Yeah, I was sitting there as I was listening. Sorry I was being quiet at the last course, but I'm trying to see, like, what's bringing that power? Because uh, Wusung is, is still playing that single note line. The piano's doing its thing. There's bass and drums. I think it was those that, those strings uh, or that, those synthesized strings. It may be real strings in the background because I'm like there's got to be a guitar sound what's making it fit what's filling that space up and I think it was those um, the strings in the background but yeah that's that's playlist for sure really enjoyed this I don't know if there's a b-side to this or not or if this is just a single but uh, really enjoyed it so if you enjoy this content please like subscribe comment and I'll see you next time peace <laughs>